For your prayers today, we're thinking about Sally Bowman, who fell and had hip replacement surgery and is now at Surrey Place, gaining strength. We continue to pray for Alicia Rutherford and her parents, Mike and Polly, as Alicia was tested positive for COVID-19. She's doing well. His, her parents don't have any symptoms at this point. We're thinking about Sherry Stolze, who is at home after a time in rehab, after a time in hospital. We're thinking about Laura and Phil Waite and big brothers Henry, Oscar, and Felix as they continue to welcome and get to know Linus, their new baby brother in the house. We're thinking about John and Joyce Ruiz, who are celebrating the grand wedding of their granddaughter, Caitlin, and her husband, Zachary. We're thinking about Mona Herberg, our office administrator and family, as they celebrate their daughter Mindy's wedding. And as Mona and family rally around her brother, Bert, who continues in the hospital with lots of struggles. We're thinking about healthcare workers and the homeless. We're thinking about physical distancing. If you have any needs, let us know. Our care team is eager to help you. People struggling with mental health issues, people who are safe in their home but questioning their safety, people in all levels of leadership who are making difficult decisions, the healing of relationships between the police and the public, people affected by storms and fires yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Our St. Louis Association covenant partner of this past week has been Emmaus Homes. Look up Emmaus Homes if you don't know that story and how important that mission and ministry is. And this coming week, our partner is St. Paul's UCC in Oakville. Again, we invite you to be about prayer and to notice in the chat as people are adding both celebrations and concerns that they have. From Luke chapter 18. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me. Please pray with us. Holy One, indeed, prayer is an individual thing. And so like the tax collector, each of us comes knowing the things that we have done or left undone, the things that we have said or left unsaid. And we grapple and struggle and wrestle with ourselves and we make room for you as we find meaning and purpose, as we find distance from the things that we wish we had not been about but were, when we seek to be closer with you and each other. We pray, O oh God, not only for ourselves, because we are aware of the journey, the delights, and the despondency of one another. And so our prayers come from a place of compassion and a place of peace and a place of dreams for justice and joy for one another. And so, O oh God, in the midst of our lives and in the lives of all of your people, we come. We come somewhere between birth and death. We come with thoughts of babies being born and of people coming to the end of their lives. And we come with all the ups and downs, the twists and turns, the roller coasters and the great highs of life. And we ask you to help us to find ways to be more and more present and available with each other to listen intently to the words that people say and to the things that are under the words. We ask you to help us to fine tune all of our senses so that we can be more vulnerable and more available to each other for we belong to each other. You created us to not be self-sufficient but to need one another, relying on each other, leaning on each other, lifting each other up, encouraging, poking, prodding, reminding each other about what it means to belong, what it means to be loved and cherished and honored. And so God, help us in these times of prayer to be more focused on our relationship with you and our relationship with one another, the people that we know and care for and see regularly and the ones that we have not seen and the strangers too far flung from here. Holy One, hear us now as we pray aloud or silently about our own prayer and our prayers for others. Holy One, hear us as we pray. And Holy One, continue to be in us and around us and through us as we share together the prayer that Jesus taught us.